it cannot be emphasized too strongly how important it is to adopt an efficient posture when sitting at the keyboard to avoid any muscular strain. Sit on the front half of the stool only, lean forward a little, and sit at a distance from the keyboard, which gives you complete freedom of movement. Your precise sitting position and height of the stool will depend on your own physical needs, but check that your back is straight with your head forward and up, so that your shoulders drop naturally. The feet can rest on the outer pedals with the heels on the floor. Be placed next to the pedals, or with the right foot closer to the piano and the left foot tucked under the stool. Breathe in and out very slowly and deeply to help to release any tension and carry out this exercise to encourage looseness at the shoulder and freedom in the wrist. Play individual notes or chords silently using either hand. Breathe out as you depress the keys. While they are held down, move the wrist gently up and down. Apply just enough pressure to keep the keys from rising, which you will notice is very little indeed. Play five finger exercises in a similar manner, relaxing the pressure between each note by gently moving the wrist. As you move to each new key, release the previous one. Notice how in playing the piano, once a key has been depressed, tension can be reduced. Monitor yourself carefully while you play, so that by the time of the examination, an efficient posture and natural breathing are automatic. Be aware if you start to nod your head, screw up your eyes, allow your spine to curve or make excessive body movements. Unnecessary tension can easily build up in the face, neck, shoulders, back and wrists. You may notice that when you play, you stop breathing completely at certain points, particularly if you do not find the piece easy. If you feel tension building up, consciously breathe out. Whenever you make mistakes in your practice, be aware that feelings of anger or annoyance with yourself will not help to put them right. They will only encourage changes in your breathing and posture and cause unnecessary tension. Instead, focus on your playing in a non-judgmental way, looking at why you are not playing something the way you want. This will be the starting point for doing something about it. By adopting this constructive mental attitude, you can allow the difficulties in your playing to melt away.